Okay, we are playing Gold Rush, and look at our inventory. There's a new item there called Gold, with an explanation point in capital letters. And we have $2,698 worth of it. Um, that is all we can get. Um, you get one point, I don't know if you can get more um, in terms of monetary value, if the value changes um, per amount of gold, or every time you get it gold, I didn't really take a look, but... Um, we do have the most. You can get a point value. I also tried to go, which is 50 points, and we are um, we've gone up 50 points since last time. Uh, we were at 111 beforehand, and um, I actually did try mining some more gold, or pardon me, panning for more gold, and I could not find any. So I believe it is true what I heard that you can only get a maximum of 50. At first, I was just going to do it a few times. You do need some gold to buy a few things, but um, I actually got came kind of addictive. And once I got pretty close to it, I figured why not cap it off, get the maximum amount of points, and so we have done so. Um, I only did the panning that you saw. I didn't want to show you a bunch of it. It's, it's fairly boring, um, and I. Uh, one of the challenges, though, is you do have to make sure that the people, there's nobody else on the screen, and a lot of times the brush can hide them. So a tip to do is just type in the parser, look man, and if there is no man, it's going to, well, it won't say you here, but um, if there is no man, then it'll just say, uh, we don't see any man, and that, that's that. So you can uh, uh, check to see if it's clear first. And then uh, you can also dig for gold, and it's sort of the same thing. You find a bunch of guys just digging there, and you can't get too close to them and dig in their spot. Or, uh, once again, you get hung, like we saw in that last scene. Um, it was also kind of funny in that scene. Once again, I apologize if anyone found that offensive or uh, didn't, didn't like it, but uh, it, it was kind of funny that... Um, uh, everyone who sort of went over over to um, uh, this area with uh, through different treks is, a is actually there. The, the guy uh, who hel who's leading you up there is the guy who sold you the ox, and the uh, captain from the crew is is there. Everyone's coming out just to see you get hung. So um, I'm glad you made some good good friends and good impressions on that uh, uh, on those trips. In any event, uh, we're we're done with that. There's no more panning. Uh, I did want to actually. Sh show you guys what happens when you get robbed, but I was just walking around by the river, out away from the river, and just couldn't find um, anywhere f um, where you could actually, where you could get mugged or get get robbed by uh, anyone. I recall playing this beforehand, and I had trouble always getting back to Fort Sutter because you just keep getting mugged. Anyway, uh, I guess the robbers are not out today, so it's not all that interesting, but I just wanted to see, uh, let you guys see that if that was possible. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we will actually have to go back out to, there's a town that's being built there. I don't know if it's the beginning of one of the uh, towns that we know, or cities in California that we know of today, or if it's just supposed to be uh, just some random settlement. In any event, that's where we'll find the hotel we were looking for um, earlier, and um, or nearby at least, I should say. And anyway, we're going to we're coming back to the fort because we need a few things. So let's, uh, without further ado, head over to. Um, okay, well that's the blacksmith shop. We already dealt with him. Let's go over and take care of a few things. So um, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. We there's a few more weird puzzles. The game becomes actually very difficult um, uh, with a lot of the puzzles, as we've already seen, and. We've got a few more things like that when we get to the hotel, um, and then afterwards trying to track down our brother. And but we, we've got a few more scenes, a few more parts to go through. I say four or five more. Vi uh, why am I here back here? Sorry for wasting your time with that. Uh, I say about four or five more videos. If I can't find this quickly, I'll I'll pause it for you guys. Let me do that now. Actually, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we actually before we go buy supplies, we actually have to go buy a mule, and that's one of the reasons I think why. Um, uh, why you need to get a lot of gold. So, um, we're gonna buy a mule. It's gonna cost you a bit of gold to get your hands on on one of these beauties, says the man. Alright. Alright, I'll just take a little of that gold you got there and give you a mule. So that didn't take too much. I guess it costs a hundred bucks or a hundred dollars worth of gold. Come on, get out of there, you lazy good-for-nothing mule. So I guess what are we? We've got a tens of thousand dollars worth of gold on us in uh, current dollars. So that it's a lot of gold to be carrying around. All right, uh, take mule. You grab hold of the rope round the neck of the docile mule and take it away. It's it's willing. It willingly follows you. All right. Now what we're doing is we're actually going to try to pull the wool over the uh, eyes of this guy. And. 
this is just another one of those things that this game is a very difficult game. Uh, it's obviously easy because I kind of remember it, and I'm also looking at a cheat guide, which of course makes it very easy. All right, so we have to heat the iron. You put the branding iron to the depths of the coals. It comes out glowing red. All right, brand mule. Take the hot iron and place it firmly on the mule's left rear haunch. It sizzles and stinks, but the mule takes it all it takes it on all fours. All right. Well, that's a tough mule, and um, yeah. Okay, so we have to we have to go uh, take care of something right now. And I guess actually, what I've been looking at says you have to wait. I don't know if you ha actually have to do so, but um, we'll leave the mule here, and we'll take care of something. The man again, let no man open gate. All right, fine. And it says, "Hopes the mule helps us strike us strike it rich." That we didn't really need him. Put mule in stable. Uh, hold on for a second. Okay, folks. Um. Let me spare you some frustration that I just experienced. Um, even the walkthrough told me to go to the stables. Now, I it, it says you have to go outside, and it is nowhere to be found on the map. It is not in the fort. What you have to know, and apparently even the walkthroughs can explain, is that right here, if you see my sprite walking through these doors, that is the stable. So if you are playing along or want to play this yourself later on, uh, there's a nice hint there that that is where the stables are. Uh, it took me about probably 15 minutes of me delaying this, even though it obviously seems like a second or so on the video, uh, for me to actually get there. So we are here now, and um, this fellow is talking to us. So let's see if we can finish this out before the end of the video. The mule man says, hold it right there, stranger. I need to get a description of that, that, that there mule you're bringing in here. Okay, it's a brown mule. A little scrawny with a... Uh, I ain't never seen a brand like that. Looks like a horseshoe with a key. Okay, take it a, uh, take it on in. If you want to leave it for a spell, um, almost any stall will do. Alright. Well, I think we have to... Well, why we're, we're trying to pull something... Actually, it wasn't the other guy that we were trying to fool. It's, it's this guy we're trying to fool. Um, because we have to look at the mule and there's another one that's actually Jake's. Um, so you have to make sure, that's why the guy checked in, that's why you have to make sure you brand it first. Serve a special purpose. I guess that's... What does ours look like? Look brand. The other one kind of looks like it. Okay, so this one's in here, so we want to leave the mule in this one. Yep. Pardon me. In this stall, because we're going to take that mule which is actually Jake's mule, so I guess we're not really stealing it, since Jake wants us to have it. I don't know why he just didn't leave us the mule, or write to the mule. I don't know why he's the mule's also not following me in. There we go. Oh, he almost came through. Well, that's not good. Alright. Another pause, and we'll be back. Okay, we can't leave him in the um, in the main, in the one up there. He just won't walk through. But he will walk through this lower one. And I think part of the puzzle you have to solve later on, the little game you have to play, is you have to look at the brands. We already know which one we need, um, and the guy will recognize that it has the same brand on it, and he'll say, "Okay, that's your mule," and we take it. And so we would have Jake's mule. We just have to make sure we get the right one. Um, it shouldn't. And um, I don't think we have time to do too much more, so let's close this video out. Sorry about all, um, hopefully the pauses didn't interrupt it too much, almost, hopefully you didn't notice it too much on the video, but uh, I did have to take a couple, couple breaks in there, um, just because it was very difficult to find the stable, at least for me. Anyway, um, thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time, um, as we push to the thrilling conclusion of Gold Rush by Sierra. This is Scott. Take care.